Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss the context-free grammars in Automata Theory. Context-free grammar. Right? So in the previous session, we have discussed about the grammars. What, what is meant by grammar and what are the regular grammars, right? So similarly, this context-free grammar is also a four-tuple or a quadruple. So with a V, T, P, and S. So we, we have seen the definition for the grammar, right? So V means, so set of variables, set of variables, and also we can call it as non-terminals, non-terminals. Right, and uh, you see, uh, next T is set of set of symbols, symbols, or we can say them as a terminals, terminals. And uh, P is a production rules, is a productions or a production rules. And we need to take care about these production rules. So the difference between the grammar and the context-free grammar is in the production rule. So coming to the regular grammar, we have seen the production should be, so the left hand side and the right hand side, so the, the production rules will be defined as a LHS tends to RHS. So on the right hand side, that can be epsilon or a terminal or a terminal with non-terminal, right? Terminal with non-terminal or non-terminal with terminal. So this is the common uh, rules we need to follow to get the regular grammar. But here, the difference over the grammar with the contextual grammar is in the production rules. So here the LHS, RHS, in the RHS, that can be epsilon or a terminal or string of terminals and non-terminals. So any number of terminals followed by any number of non-terminals. It can be the combination of terminals and non-terminals. So, but in the regular grammar we have seen, there is a uh, restriction that uh, the right hand side should have exactly one uh, terminal and one non-terminal. Right? But here there is no constraint on, upon the number of terminals and number of non-terminals on the right hand side. So, if the right hand side can be either epsilon or a terminal or a string of terminals and non-terminals. So, it can be any, any, term, any number of terminals and non-terminals. And finally, yes, it is nothing but a start symbol. Start symbol, right? See, for example, for example, so let us take some uh, variables. So let, let us take the production S tends to S, A, A. So this is a valid context-free grammar. Okay, the production is a valid production in the context-free grammar because so it, it can be either epsilon or a terminal or a string of terminals and non-terminals, right? So here we are having one terminal and two non-terminals. One terminal and two non-terminals. So even though we call it as a context-free grammar. And this is not a regular grammar because in, if it is a regular grammar, it should have only one terminal and one non-terminal on the right hand side, right? And here also the variables will be represented in the uppercase. Variables can be represented in uppercase and uh, the symbols or terminals can be represented in lower case. And from the context-free grammar also, we can uh, derive the strings which accept this grammar. So here the string means a set of terminals. So a string should not contain a non-terminal. So for example, so if it is A, B, C, this is a string. Okay, this is a string because everything is a non-terminal. And if the string is like this, so this is not a string. Okay, because here we are having the non-terminal. Okay, so string doesn't contain the non-terminal. So we can construct or we can uh, derive the strings which accepts the following grammars. Okay, so we need to write the grammar and we can derive the strings which accepts the grammar. So we'll see one example on this context-free grammar, right? So let us take an example for this one. See.
construct CFG, CFG means context free grammar, which accepts the strings having at least two A's over alphabet A comma B. So we need to write the context free grammar for this particular condition. That means we are writing the context free grammar which accepts all the strings having at least two A's. So first of all we can write the regular expression. We can write the regular expression. So here the question is we have to I mean construct the grammar such that the strings, the strings having at least two years, at least two years. So it's not a consecutive years, anywhere it can be. So I will write A and A. Okay. So it can start with A or B in any number of A's and N number of B's. In the middle, we can have N number of A's and N number of B's. In next, here we can have N number of A's and N number of B's, right? So in between, there should be exactly A's. So here we can write the context free grammar as take one non terminal and consider this one as another non terminal a t a t. Now t can be a t can be any number of a's and b's, right? Any number of a's and b's. So for example, if t t can be any number of a's or any number of b's. Or epsilon null, epsilon null. So here, this we can repeatedly we can apply this one, right? So for example, let us take one example. So let it be uh, b a b a b. Okay. So in between there are two yes, right? So this is a valid string. So now you can consider from this yes, s can be t a t. A T and now this T can be replaced with B T okay because it should start with this one so B T A and this is also can be replaced with B T okay A and again we can replace with B T now you can observe here here T can be replaced with epsilon so B epsilon A B epsilon A B so epsilon you can remove this one so it will be b a b a b so which is a string right so hope you understood so you have to construct the context free grammar such that it should accept the all the strings which are having at least two years so it would be very easy for you if you write the regular language first uh, sorry regular expression first so if you write the regular expression from that regular expressions, it is very simple to write the context free grammar, right? So we, we are supposed to write the production rules and these are the production rules. These are the production rules and V is nothing but S and T, that is a non-terminals and T is nothing but A and B which are nothing but symbols and S is a start symbol which is nothing but S here. Right? And this is these are the production rules. These are the production rules. So like this, we have to construct the context-free grammar. Right. So hope you understood this one. And the only difference between the regular grammar and the context-free grammar is on the production rule. So in the production rule on the left right hand side, if it is a regular grammar, there should be one non-terminal followed by one uh, terminal or one terminal followed by one non-terminal. But coming to the context free grammar, the, on the right hand side, the string, we can, it can accept a string which can have a multiple number of terminals and multiple number of non-terminals. So there is no restriction on count. Okay. Uh, hope you understood this session and if you are having any doubts regarding this context free grammar, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.